Okay, I think, can y'all hear me now? Let me see. Okay, I think, can y'all hear me now? Yeah, okay, your girl, y'all got the sound. Okay, thank you, Oswin, appreciate you. I didn't know I was ran I was talking. All right, y'all, we got the game. Okay, but we're not gonna hear the sounds from the game though, okay? That's, that's, we're not gonna hear the sounds from the game. You're gonna hear the sounds from me. So if you wanna hear the sounds from the game, I put the links in the description. That's just not how I go, I, I get it down or I hold it down over here and need a, on the needless joint, okay? So, I mean, if you want to hear the sound, I put the links in the descriptions for you. You can listen to their broadcasting. This is me broadcasting. Need a flying high commentary, okay? I'm different, but still football. Anyways, like I was saying, like I was saying when y'all couldn't hear me, um, well, thank y'all. Welcome to Anita's Joint. Hashtag extend the joint where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl, Anita Flying High. Okay, so I'm doing from football commentary. Houston Dash versus Tigas Feminin. Okay. Um, last time we seen Houston um, in W still action, but last time we seen Houston versus Tigas was uh, two years ago, and they said that Houston lost. So I was surprised. But um, yeah, I'm, we good. Oh yeah. So let me let me. I'm happy that you can hear me. I'm happy everything's well. But I wanted also to say is. Um, Houston, I don't know why Houston Dash didn't make this video public. It's listed, unlisted, but I didn't know if that was like an accident or on purpose because I feel like why would you make it unlisted um, when more people can like chat and listen, we know there's trolls. It, it's just the universe we live in. We know there's people that talk shit, but just delete them. You know what I'm saying? They have mods, right? I mean, someone had to prepare this before, right? But also, we T-Gas women, Houston Dash, we can get to know each other, you know what I'm saying? And I think I've always, um, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the Zodiac, oh, you a Sag? Hey, that's what's up, I'm a Gemini, okay. See, I'm happy you know your, 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 uh, your star sign. Cause over here, we're over here, we're stars. We're stars over here. I'm, I'm, I'm a Gemini. Uh, Sun sign, Aquarius moon sign, a Leo ascendant. Uh, and a lot of the football players have certain zodiac signs you may share with them. That's what makes us all teamwork, make the dream work. We all got one of these on our sun. All right. But a uh, shout out to the Sagittarius coming through. And we actually, we are experiencing a full moon right now in Pisces. So, I mean, it's, it's incredible, right? We're some magical times that we're in. And we got football here. Uh, so we're going to be super excited. Let me get the um, the rosters uh, so I can uh, call out certain players more. And this is Christine Nair's last match. Apparently, she, she'll no longer be uh, a Houston Dash player. I think I think that's what they were saying. Um, so hopefully Houston can get the W. Um, and also, I mean, the ladies, we need some wins going back to the NWSL season. This, I mean, I mean, this, you know what I'm saying? We need some W's, you know what I mean? We need some W's. But, um, yeah, I'm happy that they're streaming this on YouTube. I'm happy that, um, uh, the Tigas women are here with us. I got to see Club America play. Um, and Tigas women are sitting at the top of the group. Oh shit. Gemini rising. Moon Scorpio. So you know that D stuff too. Yeah, real shit. Okay, okay. Gemini in the building. Gemini coming through. Yeah, yeah. Scorpios. Yeah, okay. Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio's energy is very deep as well. That's that's that eighth house is really deep. Like deep, like. I know what you mean. I have it in my fourth house, so I go real deep in my in my in my home, uh, in my comfort zone. Uh, let me see. Let me get this Houston Dash. Uh, Houston Dash. There we go. There we go. But yeah, thank y'all for coming through. Uh, saying hello. Uh, I appreciate y'all. And I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm able to stream the game to you all today. Um. Okay. Here we go, Houston. Come on. Okay. 
Or they're not showing me the the Google lineups and standings and stuff like that. Oh well. Oh well. I just gonna have to deal with that. But I know most of the Houston Dash players. Uh, the Tigas, I mean, and we only got to have Maria for like three games. If y'all know Maria Sanchez, we only got to have her for like a couple matches. But um, I appreciate her. I appreciate her. And like I said again, um, I put the links in the description to the game, to the to the other game, to the game that's on YouTube. I gotta close these uh, websites so. So much stuff will be happening. Yeah, and there's so far there's six thousand. There's six thousand watching over there. But let's go. Shout out to everyone. Um. Yeah, three Houston. Let's get the three points. You got Chapman out there. You know, you got Chapman out there. <clears throat> Hopefully we get a good game. I think it'll be a great game. All right, keeps the game. And you know Houston. You know Houston's best play is you know them pressing, uh, always, always attacking. I mean, uh, trying to uh, always pressing that uh, the front line. Just like kind of yeah, it's like a it's a press. It's a press. That's what I mean. It's just press pressuring, and then it's like you know. They got Prince there. Um, I'm trying to see who else is on the pitch right now. You're going to have to be looking for her. It would be really nice if she can get a goal lasso. Stevens is also a player that I'm very uh, excited for, for Houston. Um, number, I think she's number 33. She's a rookie. I think she's a rookie this year. But, um, yeah. Looking forward to her her development, and it's very uh you know if you depending on what team you support and how long you support them, it's really good to um to watch them grow on the field. All right, but all right, Houston are in their orange. Said uh, all right, let's go Tigres. I see, I see. Shout out to them. Shout out to y'all. And uh, I got that. T-Girls women are sitting on top of the table. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, T-Girls women are sitting on top of the table, right? Let me get over here. I got this. I got this full screen real quick. <sighs> All snap. Uh, you said, check, yo, check out Katie Killer, number 10, okay, and Soli, number 11, is like Iniesta and Xavi, all in one, okay, number seven, Marcelo, one women's golden bull, okay, okay, yeah, Houston better make sure your defense is showed up, I mean, no, we got uh, the same, the same defensive line um, with Hansen, uh, Naughton, Oysters, back, and a Chapman. So that's really nice. So Houston, make sure y'all are defending well. We got some some golden boot ball winners playing against, and you know Houston, uh, you know Houston always comes to get scored on. But uh, I think there's oh yeah, so I didn't give you all my predictions. I'm thinking like if the first game was two three. I mean, if the first game was 2-1, uh, hopefully maybe you get like a 3-2 score line, five goals. I mean, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, I wouldn't mind a 3-2 score line. Five goals, would, I think that would fulfill my appetite tonight. We only, um, only got to watch uh, one game today. Everyone's taking a break. They won't. All the international matches won't come back to well, the ones that I know about um, till Tuesday. But Portugal, I think, beat Israel um, today as well, um, I think, for their World Cup qualifying. Nice. Almost. Hey, shout out to y'all. Shout out to everyone that's watching. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all coming through, saying hello. I'm not too sure what you said, but what's up, Rafa? We got Rafa, Ronaldo, Osvaldo. Uh, 
a Rufio, I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I butchered y'all, y'all butchered y'all's name. Let me know where y'all watching from. I would, I wouldn't. I'm here in Texas. I'm in, not in Houston though. I'm not in Houston, Texas, but I'm in San Antonio, Texas. So let me know where y'all at uh, in the chat if you would like to share. You ain't got to. You know what I'm saying? Um, how is Mexico doing? I heard y'all have some. I heard y'all have some. I don't know if some volcanoes are erupting over there in Mexico. What's up, Marvin? Hey, how are you? Thank you for coming through and saying hi. Appreciate you. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Um. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let me see. I guess I have to go on Twitter to just look at the lineups again. Preferably, uh, you said number seven and number 10. Okay, we got St. Louis, Missouri. All right, St. Louis, Missouri's here. Okay. All right. Welcome. Shout out to St. Louis. Never been there, but that's a sub. Uh, use some dash. Uh, all right, St. Louis is in the building. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so I'm, I think I'm going to do my other phone for the other <laughs> Twitter line. All right, all right. We back. I'm back. Um, Twitter. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was wondering why I got. Oh, wow. What's up, Ramon? Ramurio, uh, I'll talk that you're from Palm Spring, California, but stationed in Monterey, Monterey. Uh, all right. Uh, Katie, we'll do that. We'll do one goal. OVL, another. And okay, okay. Maria. All right, Richard. For, for Texas. All right. What's up, y'all? Coming through. Hey, a lot of Tigras. I've heard, they said a lot of Tigras supporters were in. Uh, well, you know, remember, I mean, uh, you know, Texas was Mexico. So, I mean, it, it just got a new name. That's it. Texas was Mexico. So, I mean, and I feel like it still is. I live in San Antonio. I mean, and then, I mean, but I don't want to get all into that. But I'm just saying Texas was Mexico. It was once called Mexico before it was called Texas. So, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, but, yeah, y'all y'all put me on. And I have I have um, a very – I have a hard time getting – I have a hard time being able to watch the Mexican League here in here in Texas. I don't understand. I don't. I don't know who broadcasts them, but I can't seem to get get them on TV or get them because I done one match before, and um, I forgot who that was. I think it was Tigras. I think it was like in a cup or something. But um, it's hard to get them. It's hard to uh, get links for their for the women, the Mexican league. So it's like you know that's not. It's not every day we're gonna see. I'm not every day I, I get to see them. So. Maybe I'm not looking hard enough or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, T.S. But uh, we got New York. New York. All right, New York City. It says confirmation. Say, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, George. Vasquez. All right, got the T guy sign. Nice. 
Y'all all love the team. That's what's up. I like I like them too. I mean that that that's that's my favorite team because they were the first team um, from Mexico that I was ever brought to to my awareness. So I was like, well, I, and especially because they played Houston two years ago, I knew that this is the team that I was going to support. So I was like, well, I'm going to support them because I mean they're the first ones to be able to come over here. And then when I seen club America, they were really well as uh, I was excited to see those ladies as well. They played the uh, San Antonio Athenian side here and uh, they beat them, but it was still really good to see the ladies. I got to take a couple pictures with a couple of them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I had a great time. Y'all, you listen, y'all are some of the best supporters I've seen. Like I, I love um, what y'all bring to the table or what y'all, how they were. Um, just there, uh, the ones that made their trip, or maybe the ones that were already there, y'all are awesome. I just want y'all to know that, you know, it's incredible. Uh, okay, let's get this lineup. Uh, dang, they don't have it like, uh, they don't have it like pictured out. They have like a video. <laughs> they have like a video of the lineup. Jeez. Ah. Uh. Let's see. Let me keep scrolling. Nah. Dang. I wish they didn't have a video of them and just like the picture. Let me see if there's another. I guess I can't really trip too hard. Oh. All right. Azel. Azel. Oh. I'm not too sure what you say. George. All right. Andrew, you're welcome. You, you're welcome. Thank y'all all for coming and saying hello. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Um, I said, man, I wish I spoke Spanish too. <laughs> Anyone want to teach me Spanish? I need this. I need. I gotta learn Spanish. They didn't teach us too well in in, in school, but it's okay. It's okay. I'll still. I'll learn. <laughs> All right. Nice shot from last coat, but better goalkeeper. Right to the goalkeeper. Ooh. Uh. Felix, hello, 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 Felix. What's up? What's up? And this is see, this I would have been. This is what Houston Dash should have done. And the um, they shouldn't have turned their comments off. They should have put because there's like I think there was like six thousand people over there already. Oh man, it's Prince, come on now, Prince, come on, come on, Prince. That should have been a better pass to to Lasco, and that should have been a goal right there. Wow. Let's see, Sophie Smith. Yeah, come on now. I think that should have been a, a better cross. Caught T got slipping right there. Um, thank you. Uh, Alexia, welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> have I ever played football before? No, no, just basketball. Basketball, but I taught football. I taught some children. Uh, what'd you say? Um, is legit three plus four American. I, I legit think their training is mostly in English. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Richard, what's up? And Gomez, nice high. Corner kick. All right, Houston, come on. Oh, oh, hey, let's go. Vasali, there you go. Let's go. Hey, got the first goal. All right, one nil, one nil, y'all. Marcos, hi, how are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, you said it said ever been here in Mexico for? Would you like to? Yeah, for sure, Mexico. Yeah, I probably um, yeah, Mexico is for sure like right next door. Um, 
got to go to Mexico. Awesome. Hey. <laughs> He said, thanks for broadcasting the game. I'll teach you Spanish. I'll teach you Spanish. Well, hit me in my uh, my Instagram, my Twitter, my my Facebook. You know, let me know. I, need, I, I really, I really, I, I really do want to learn some Spanish. It's necessary. It's necessary. Uh, what position in Houston? What what position does Houston? Oh my goodness, Houston. Oh, or they're in um seventh position. Yeah, they're in seventh position. No, they may be in eighth position. Let me check. Because I think either seven or eight. But um, it's it's not looking good. But we got a couple more matches left, Houston, um, to be able to push for the playoffs. If not, you know, next season, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Houston. All right, Houston got the first goal. Let's go, Veronica. Uh, Houston are in. Yeah, Houston are in the seventh position. Got um six matches left. Houston are in the seventh position. They got six matches left to just. They have to win the rest of the games, really. Yeah, I mean, you got to win out, win out. And if you win all the games, you put yourself in the best opportunity to make the playoffs. If you drop points along the way, you're hurting your you're hurting your chances, you know? Uh, uh, Marcelo, how did I know about you guys? Have you, have, uh, yeah, I've seen them play. I've seen them play. Um, I think it was a champions last year. Uh, I think I, it was on, cause I've had a couple, it was on another YouTube channel that I had that got deleted, but um, I covered two games, or maybe just one game, but I knew about them because of Maria Sanchez when she came through. But I remember Houston played uh, the t to in 20, 2019 or 2018. And that was the only time I ever seen them before. He said, I live in San Antonio and drive to Tigas games, so you can check one out. I live in San Antonio. Oh, shit. Okay. And uh, drive down to Tigas games, so you can check one out if you want. Sweet. Thanks. Hello, greetings. And Joe. Oh, wow. You're a Spanish teacher. And oh, you're a Spanish. Oh, in Monterey, I can help you with Spanish. I'm English teacher here in my city. Awesome. Yeah, being like, I mean, being bilingual, that's just a must nowadays. <laughs> oh, Tigas is the best team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, hit the post. So close. Yeah, I'm studying. I, I got, I, yeah, I do. Ooh, oh, go. Hey, Stevens, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, actually, I got, um, where's my book? Oh, right, Houston. Oh, right, Houston. Let's go. Yeah, I got, um, I got, uh, I don't know if y'all can see that. Nice finish. I got my Spanish, like, um, oh, shit. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, I got some, some words. I got some words. Ah, you said I could also help you with Portuguese. Oh, shit. Nice. Ah, let's go. Uh, oh. Yeah, like, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got me like, uh, I, they were, it was, uh, I think it was like, I don't know how many, there's a lot of words. I think it was like 
50 something are the, the most common phrases. Something like that. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I have. I've written them down. It's just I have to study. I have to study, 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 study. You said, can I introduce myself in Spanish? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, I think it was like, um, me, yo me, am, me amo Anita. Yo me amo Anita, right? Flying high. Yeah, and, uh, I know, I know, I know. I know there's just so many teams in Houston. It's really hard out here. It's really hard out there to get the um, to get the support. You know, it's really hard out there. But that's why I, I, when I when I watched the Tigas in Houston Dash play in Mexico, it was lit. It was lit. It was lit. In America, football is just not there yet. You know, it's not there yet. And and that's why I do enjoy. Oh, teams like Mexico have nice um, stadiums. Uh, and even in England, it's still not lit like these other countries. You know what I'm saying? I, and, uh, it, we'll, we'll see when it gets there because it's going to be phenomenal. Like the World Cups and the Olympics we see is phenomenal, right? All the teams, all the countries, they come, you know. Uh, but um, you say, you say, any results? Uh, you say any results that is T guys going learning about the American teams and women's soccer is very important. All right. All right. Oh, you say you say hola. Hola, me no me Anita. Yo soy de San Antonio, Texas. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to write that down real quick. Hold on, Angel. Thank you for coming through. Yeah. Hey, look, for real, for real. I'm really, uh, really about my life. I'm a, I'm, I'm a Gemini, so I'm a student. Like, I'm going to be learning all my life. But, but that's just something I'm supposed to do during my time here is to learn. But uh, I'm, let me write that down real quick. Because, you know, it's the simple things that matter. Like, just saying hello, right? Um, what you say? You say, sorry, I'm looking at my other <laughs> my other laptop right here to to write that. That's how I'm looking at y'all's uh, messages. Uh, you know. All right, that all right, all right. But okay, appreciate the love. Um uh hold on, let me read some more of y'all comments. <laughs> uh hold on. Um <clears throat> You're good. You're good. Uh, where I'm from? No, I I was born in I was born in Houston, Texas. I was born in Houston, Texas. But um, yeah, I was born in Houston. But I just don't live there. Thanks for. You're welcome. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. All the way from Mexico. You're welcome. Jesus. Alejandro. Ugun. Hey, no front, yeah, for real, for real. I'm, I'm taking everything. Latigas. Hey, hey, nice, nice. Oh, go! Oh my goodness, y'all. Woo! Yo, Latigas. I know you're only missing three players. Come on now. What's going on? 
What's going on? Ah. I said, do do you like Sonic Do you like soccer honestly, or do you prefer other sports than soccer? Oh no, I uh, I like soccer. I like I like football. It's something that um a lot of more people watch in different countries, and so it's more of a way I can be able to bring more people together because it's watched more in different countries. Uh, Iron, Mark. Hi. Is buffering? Well, okay, Monterrey, Mexico. Nice. Nice. You're welcome. You're welcome, Anna. Hey. I want T Gas for San. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. I went to a San Antonio uh, uh, FC match. They were they're lit too. Alejandro, hola, uh, Elise. Hey, okay. <laughs> he said, "Oh, that's not our team." I know they slip it. They're like, "What? What hell is going on? What's going on?" I knew this would happen. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. But the aren't y'all still in the beginning of y'all season? Aren't y'all still in the beginning of y'all season? Uh aren't y'all still in the beginning of y'all season? It's still early. It's still early. It's not y'all's fault. It's not y'all's fault. It happens too. But, um, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, greetings. <laughs> oh, yeah, we always say it out loud. <laughs> Please, hello to Yanni and Paulo. Nah, hola. Uh, <laughs> okay, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all. So where is the, are the Tigras located in Monterrey, Mexico? Is that where y'all, is that where they play their football at? Okay, okay. Okay, Danielle, welcome. Um. Because um, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, um, what the? Daniel. Crick. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice. So, well, I, I mean, really? All right. So there's 8,000 over there watching on the website. Uh, eight thousand four hundred and ninety-two. Nice. Correct. Omar. Alfredo says hi. Hi, Avisha and Admaris. Okay. Um, Monterey. They're in San Nicolas. Okay. <laughs> Yana. <laughs> oh. Oh, you said. The team is in, okay, so the team is in Monterey. <laughs> Hola, Robert. Um, but still from Neviendo. All right. No, they play in San Nic Oh, okay, okay, okay. So similar to the location. All 8,000. Or uh, Tigas support? Hey, and I'm the one. Uh, is it? And I'm the one. <laughs> Maybe all the Houston supporters are in the game at the game. Uh, Delma, thank you. We love to play other countries. I think that's what football's about, right? I love it too. I love. I love it when. I just like. I loved it when. Uh, you know. Um, it's just good. It's just overall good. It's just good. 
Hi. Okay. You're welcome, Aaron. I'll flee to Mexico. All right. Okay, very close. Okay. All right. Okay, have a nice one. All right, virtual hug. All right. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, all y'all, all y'all T Girl supporters. It's fucking phenomenal the support that they have. That y'all, that's amazing. Honestly, that's amazing. That's amazing. You said uh, I'm I'm in Houston mostly. It's T Girls. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, hola, Ro Rosalinda. <laughs> Mexican power, so sad. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Paraguay, I watched some Paraguay, Lucas. I think you were in the last time, I seen you last time. Welcome. Uh, tell us about you, aw. Tigas are gonna win tonight. Fair, nice, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, everyone. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I have a lot of videos about myself. You could, you just gotta go through all the all all my um, my YouTube videos that I make on, during football. I give you a little bit of me every every match, um, every match. You know what I'm saying? Every match, every. This is the terrible version. <laughs> They're just not so far. Uh, just enjoy the game. Nice, Omar. So thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. He said, H-Town has a big... I see. I see. I see. Y'all are everywhere. It's good. It's good. Uh, 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 you said... Oh, okay, okay. Okay. All right, Jesus. Oh, now the chat's going fast today. Did I play some? No, no soccer. Uh, basketball. Basketball. Oh, do I? Uh, do I like Cancun? I, I mean, I. I uh, yeah, I haven't been there. I can't. <clears throat> oh yeah, Tigo's so gonna learn from this match for sure, right? Salute, salute. You're welcome. You're welcome. Almost to you guys. Oh snap, I'm missing some people. Okay, okay. Amazonas, okay. Vera Cruz. Nice. Yeah, I would have been. I wish Maria was here. Most of us, most of us, we are following both teams, men and female. That's good. I I I was it's really you're welcome, Neil. Hola, Anna. Yeah, it's um, it's I, I really mainly focus on women's football. Um, that's why I presented on my on my platform. He said I didn't see any of the goals. Yeah, they're all in the first 30 minutes. You missed it. You, it'll be a replay, though. It'll be a replay. Um, but, um, yeah, I follow – I thought fo um, I think from 20 – I was introduced to football in high school. Uh, my friends that played uh, basketball in high school played uh, football as well or soccer as well. And so that's how I came about uh, watching it. And then I saw Man City play in 2010 the boys. And then it, up until 2019, I've been watching the boys play. And now I, I, I feel like it's the time for the ladies since they're really good right now. It, I watch the ladies more because I've watched the men since tw tw 2010. So that that's, that's what I, that's now. And the men are well, always good. Um, I watched the champions league final when city played, um, like I'll watch like the bigger, like the World Cup, the Olympics, but 
it'd be really hard because there's just so much football right now. Uh, it's hard to choose what games I want to watch. <laughs> there's so much. Uh, that was Cowboys. Oh no, I'm a, I'm a New York Giants, a New York Giants supporter, right? Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, Maria Sanchez. Yeah, she's she's good too. I, I like the way she plays. Kill, k- cat killer. Uh, did you ever see? Did you ever see too many followers before to you guys before? Yeah. Um, this is a. Uh, yeah, I didn't know y'all was lit like this. I didn't know y'all had, there was so much love for the ladies. I was, I'm so like, um, when I watched, I think the most I've had was PSG. And when I when PSG and Barcelona played in Champions League, that was the most support that came through. But y'all, y'all are killing it tonight. Uh, y'all are really out here showing love for them. Hola, Rissa is really amazing. Um it's really amazing. It's awesome. It's incredible. It's incredible. This is just football. You know what I'm saying? It's incredible. What what, what can happen? You welcome. You welcome. Of course, of course, good vibes. Good vibes to everyone as well. Thank y'all for showing so love. Appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, this this has to happen more. You know, if because I'm just saying, like, this has to happen more. Y'all, y'all out here. <laughs> y'all out here. Y'all out here, and um, Houston. I don't. Uh, Houston doesn't have that much support like like y'all do, and I think it's because uh, here in, in America, it's 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 just different. You know, y'all know what y'all some some things y'all see. It's just different. But uh, um, like in Portland, you see you see a lot of support, but not like on the internet like this. I have never. Uh, where's it? Where, where am I from? Where are, oh, from Houston, Texas. I'm from Houston, Texas. Born, I was born, born in Houston, Texas. Uh, I graduated school in Houston, but I moved to San Antonio. I'm here in San Antonio now. Uh, okay. Liverpool's game on Saturday was a, it was a burner. Who, who did Liverpool play? Who did Liverpool play? You say, actually, the women's play is so much better than the men's play. It's, uh, uh. Yeah, to you guys, women, I don't know if they're going to be able to score at halftime, um, before halftime. Houston's been taking to them, taking it to them this. Uh, go to classical. Okay. Okay. Mar- Maria. Okay, Victor. Is it the Ola? Diana, San Antonio's a great place. Yeah, I've been here for two years. I've been here for two years. Oh, yeah, Camille, uh, you lived in San Antonio five years ago, about 410, and military. Okay, Liverpool on the top of the Premier League can't be bad. Okay, yeah, Liverpool, really good. Um, I don't, not yet, they're ladies yet. <laughs> what is that? You look like Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, Whoopi Goldberg, thank you. <laughs> uh, hola. Hola, Sylvester. Nice, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank y'all. But, yeah, we, um, you girls out here, I do a lot of um, football games. I try to just, you know, if there's a football game, there's football tournaments, I try to watch, um, share my thoughts and feelings on some, but also – you know, other things, uh, my page, you can, my videos are a lot about a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of things. Yeah. I should follow them. I know it. I, 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 it's hard. I can't find them on TV. That's the thing. I can't, I can't be, sometimes I, um, I can't find the links. I can't find the links. You're welcome. You're welcome. Matthew, Andrew, calm down. Uh, yeah, I practice basketball, Bas- basketball, uh, you met Selena, the text man. Yeah. Selena is very popular here in San Antonio. So you're so you're, you're kind and smiley. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, but I can be, I can be mean too. Trust me. Uh, uh, me, me being a Gemini, I have, we got two sides. So, but I, you know, I said it, 
we can be, I can be on the positive side. We're going to be on the positive side tonight. It's the first time. It's the first time seeing Tiga's team in trouble. Ah. Oh. Ah, right? Are they the same that went? No, different team, different team for sure. Way different team. Uh, most of the games are on YouTube. Like they go live on YouTube. All right, y'all. That's the half. That's the half. That's halftime. Greetings. Hola, George. Hola, Yadia. All right, greetings. To on Rose, hola. All right, thank you. Thank you for the new followers. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Vamos. Are you going to shout out the Tiga score? Are you going to shout? Is Tiga score? <laughs> ah, we'll see. We'll see if, if, if they can get the, if they can score. I think they will. I think they will. I mean, uh, let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> nice. It's a, it's, this is a bigger crowd than Houston Dash be getting, I swear. Yo, y'all need to come back. Y'all need to come. <clears throat> y'all need to come to Houston more. We need y'all support out there. Y'all feel y'all was y'all got the stadium pretty, pretty looking good. Oh, you said that's correct. The Tigers on their own Facebook, and you can see the games there. Oh, okay. I need to follow them on Facebook then. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. Ah, true. True. Uh, let's see. It's halftime. And yell, hola, Josefina. Ah, hey. <laughs> okay, so I have to follow them on Facebook then. That's what I'm going to follow. Yeah, that's right. Okay. See you guys. Do I like Zodiac signs, like your background? Yeah, I do. I, um. Uh, yeah, what I got, um, let me, if y'all know y'all Zodiac sign, drop your Zodiac sign and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit of, I'll tell you, if you drop your Zodiac sign, I'll see if I can give you some intel on yourself. Just a little bit. You can drop, you can drop if you're an Aries person, if you're a sun sign Aries, this is my magic wand because I'm a witch. So if you're Aries, Taurus, Gemini, I'm Gemini, I'm a, if you're a Cancer, Leo, Virgo, we're about to go into um, Libra season, okay, soon. We're about to go into Libra season. And then Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. So Aries through Gemini, Aries through Gemini is spring. Cancer through Virgo, Cancer through, Cancer through Virgo is summer. Libra through Sagittarius is fall. Capricorn through Pisces is winter. So that's the seasons, right? The four seasons. The zodiac, the wheel, the twelve months, the twelve, the twelve, the twelve seasons, the, uh, the twelve energies that we feel. The more people can know about the energies that they possess, the more. Oh, you're an Aries. You're the initiator. Okay, so we got some suns. Okay, Aries. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Cancer, Cancer, you're very psychic, Cancer. You're fourth house, um, cardinal, cardinal sign, initiators. You're very psychic, Cancer. Um, you know, you you want to take care of your home, and you're really good at it. So make sure you don't get uh, outweighed. We probably don't. You probably don't get outweighed by most of the people in your life. But just make sure, you know, you don't shut yourself off from everybody. And don't be a crab. But Cancer is very, very very, very powerful sign, especially in football. You know how many cancers are in football? Like you, might, Alex Morgan, Messi is a cancer. Um, Ada for Leon is a cancer. Wendy Renard for Leon is a cancer. Um, I said Alex Morgan already. Viviana Minimo is a cancer. A lot of great cancer. A lot of, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are, y'all lit. All right. Y'all are amazing. 
They are amazing. And y'all are ruled by the, the, the moon. So that y'all are very powerful, very powerful energy. Very, very, very powerful. So always use your power, hopefully for good. But, you know, sometimes you can get a little dirty. Jose, you're a Taurus? Hey, my brother's a Taurus. You know, I really like the Taurus energy. Taurus is fixed earth. So, you know, either you're stubborn or practical. Either you're stubborn or, or, or fixated. But you like to think you're 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 the second house of value. You're all about luxury, you know, nice things, but things that last because you're Taurus. Very, very beautiful. There, there's a lot of beautiful people that are Tauruses, okay? My brother, I guess he's beautiful, but <laughs> I'm saying, uh, very beautiful people that are Taurus. Taurus, I mean, um, I mean, just, just keep living and keep giving because you have a big heart, Taurus. Just make sure people are not taking advantage of your kindness. You Aries. Okay, so my, I have a south node in Aries. Um, Aries, y'all are also cardinal. Fiery, fiery. Also, you're in Aries too. Okay, fiery, fiery. Aries, y'all are the first house. Y'all have to initiate the new, the, you're new. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're the rebel. Not the rebel, but like Aries are a fire sign. Y'all are going to initiate a lot of things in your life. Um, you know, try not to burn people like with all your fire that you have, but you're here to just be, you know, really a, a big example for yourself. Um, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, I, the areas that I know are really awesome. Uh, your cancer as well. Awesome. I love the cancers. Also, because I have a my 11th house is in cancer. So the people that I tune into, I'm just um, like, depending on who I group myself with, because 11th house is Aquarius. 11th house is also like 11th is the collect. I remember. So Aries through Virgo is your individual. So if you know your birth chart, like ask your mom or dad what time you were born to get your birth chart calculated. So you'll know what, what where your, your sun, moon, and ascendant is. Because it's very important to you when you're walking this life. Because when you're experiencing this life um, here, right now. Because it's going to show you how you are supposed to conduct yourself based upon being in, in this world that we live in. Right, so Aries through Virgo is the first half, is your individual. Libra through Pisces is the second half, it's collective. It's the people you will deal with or your partner, your loved one, your spouse, your wife or your husband, right? But it all comes full circles, very important. It's very important. This is what they were calculating with all of what we've been told in history, the stars. And everybody had different interpretations of the stars. Right. We just call them Aries now. We just call them Gemini now, Taurus now in this current time period that we're in. But uh, you got the cancers. I love y'all cancers. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Aries are leaders. Right. Uh, Ola Silver. Uh, have you ever seen anime? With, uh, the only anime I really not really. Uh, my brother. <clears throat> now, I'm not really. You got some anime you can put me on. Uh, you can put me on a show. Gemini. Oh, okay, look, y'all know Gemini's are the best. I'm a Gemini. So Gemini's are mutable. You just you just gotta flow with the flow with the punches. We really are the manifestation of this reality, the good and the bad. And and we really we're the I, we are one of some of the most hated zodiac signs because we're Gemini, we give it to we give it to you like it is, okay. No sugar coating. I'm gonna communicate, we're gonna communicate, we're gonna talk about everything whether we like it or we don't like it we're gonna talk about it we're a gemini okay we're gonna be fun and witty depending on your placements you know we're very outgoing um uh, but you're you're really your moon sign because your moon is your your mother really not your mother but the moon is your emotions so that's really who you are your sun sign is who you're gonna ex how you express your moon sign and your ascendant is how people see you you know what i'm saying and so but you being a gemini you know you're amazing. You're a magician. You're magical. You know what I mean? You're ma like you're a master communicator. You're a master. You're a master. You can be a jack of all trades. You're awesome. Um, so anything you do is going to be awesome. I'm just saying. Not just because I'm a Gemini. But yeah, Geminis can be leaders. 1973. Awesome. Virgos. Virgos. Y'all are also with Gemini and Virgo. Uh, Mercury. Mercury is ruled with uh, mercury rules virgo and gemini so virgos we call y'all the uh the perfectionist because y'all really are perfect virgo like the virgin very pure you know what i'm saying y'all are very good at what y'all do because you analyze virgo is i analyze y'all analyze everything to the t and then this this reality 
this reality that we live in, you're going to make sure you analyze everything very correctly. Uh, you can help me. You can help people organize pretty much anything and hope, you know, pretty much anything. Uh, you probably, you know, you see a lot of things. Virgos, y'all are also earth signs. And I think y'all are, uh, y'all are, yeah, mutable. Mutable earth. Yeah, y'all mutable earth. So y'all also flow too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're Aquarius. I think, are you Aquario? Aquarius? You're Aquarius? Shout out to your Aquarius. Y'all, look, we're not from, y'all, we're not from this world. <laughs> we teach, if you have, if you're Aquarius, make sure you're teaching. Um, your knowledge is is here. This is the age, the quote, this is the age of Aquarius, okay? The age of information, the age of knowing. Aquarius is I know. Every zodiac sign has a certain I something. Oh, um, but Aquarius is I know. So you know just by you being yourself. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You already know. A lot of people just won't get you because you you not you you're just a different type of person. You know what I'm saying? You're just a different type of energy. Aquarius is cold, is ruled with Uranus. Uh, Uranus was Uranus was uh, a planet that was a social outcast, the rebel, the 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 out the the energy that went against society to help reinvent, to help to help shake up. And a lot of people didn't like that. I, I mean, that's why I, I have an Aquarius moon. So I know, I know how you feel. Like a lot of people are like, what is she doing? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? She's a little weird. But I know that. I know that I'm a little different. I'm a you little unique. You know what I'm saying? But we all are. We're all stars. We're all unique stars. You know what I'm saying? It's incredible. But um, but yeah, yeah. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquario, Sagittario, you're a horse. Oh goodness. Uh, let me let me let me make sure there's the game's not on. Okay, still have time. Okay, okay. We still good. Um, yeah, shout out to y'all Aquarius. Oh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, y'all are like the um the one of the first person I met on YouTube that really helped me with my awakening was a Sagittarius. Shout out to Trend Genius. Sagittarius, y'all are also mutable. You fire. I mean, y'all the ninth house, ninth house of wisdom. Y'all very philosophical. I mean, philo. I would say, uh, you have a lot of wisdom, but y'all like to travel, like to experience. You know what I'm saying? You're very philosoph. Oh, there's a word, philosoph, philurio, like um, philosophy. I don't know, something like that. You have a lot of things to teach. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just like to experience, like to flow. Y'all are cool. Y'all got a lot of swag. Your swag's on fleek. You know what I'm saying? I seen a lot of swaggy. Swag- I seen a lot of swaggy Sagittarius in my life. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you. Um, Joel, being the Sag era, Sag. Oh, we got, okay, okay. Uh, Libra, all right, Libra. Shout out to y'all Libras. Y'all are my tribe. We're part of the air family, you know what I'm saying? Libra. So Libra, I mean, y'all are awesome as well. I really nothing had nothing. All the Libras that I mean are so, that I meet are very, very awesome. Like very complimentive, very complimentive. Libras, of course, y'all have to maintain the, the the balance here for us. Y'all are holding space to be y'all are holding space for us to be balanced. So I appreciate you, Libra. That's my North Node. So any Libra that comes into my life really does help me balance out my life because it's important um, to be balanced. I mean, no no pressure on your Libras uh, to hold that space to be balanced for us. Uh, but y'all also card. I think y'all are cardinal. Cardinal, cardinal air, your communication. So, you know, your justice, you'll be bringing people justice, uh, how you communicate that you're the judge Libra. So make sure you're judging wisely, fairly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Leo, oh, Leo, you're here to shine, Leo. This this is your stage. You're the sun. Uh, you are the sun, Leo. You're here to shine. And don't, and people tell you, you on the stage. If you on the stage in the middle, you, you on Leo. You on the stage and in the middle, Leo. Okay. You on the stage and in the middle. Uh, you need to know that. Okay. And and you need to shine and shine. And now it's really nice if you pull some people up with you. You know what I'm saying? Teamwork. But you here to shine, Leo. Just shine. Whatever you doing, shine. You know what I mean? And we know you have a big heart because, you know, you love to help people. So continue to help people because you have the energy. You're the sun. You got that energy. You got the energy to shine. You got the energy to give. Um, um, and try not to burn people with your fire either because, you know, you got the fire uh, literally. You know what I mean? But y'all are awesome people. I, I I like Leos. I'm a Leo ascendant. You know what I'm saying? You got the Cancers. What I say about Aries? Y'all are Aries? 
initiators, y'all fire, cardinal fire. It's really deep. You you this it's really deep. I'm this is just surface level stuff. This I'm not I'm not a I'm not an astrologer. You gotta go on some other astrologers. Uh so I'm not an astrologer. Um you said Scorpio, Scorpio, y'all are very psychic as well, very intuitive. Water, water sign. Um man, Scorpio eighth house. You know, you like to be hidden. You know what I'm saying? You like to do things behind the scenes, and that's and it's a mystery, and that's that's really good. We need that. We sometimes we have to be secretive. So thank you for holding that space. Um, you can sting yourself and sting a lot of people. Uh, try not to be. Try not to do that. But you don't keep. You can't really keep secrets around the Scorpio because the Scorpio knows everything. You know what I mean? But um, you have powerful energy, Scorpio. Uh, Sure, you can contact me on Instagram. Um, if you have, if make sure if you do want to contact me on Instagram, make sure you have a profile like your actual person, because I don't know who's who's on here and just trying to say hi. Make look, this is twenty twenty one now. All of us have phones, right? If we got phones, we have cameras. You should take a picture of yourself. It, you're beautiful. Okay, you should take a picture of yourself and put yourself on social media if you want to contact me. Because if you don't have a picture of yourself, it's a little shit. It's a little sketchy, a little sketchy. I don't know if I can trust you because there's people out here that don't exist. Really, they're like robots. And if, if you don't even have that for me, I don't know if I want to talk to you. I'm just saying, if you don't have that, don't hit me up for no BS. But if you do, you know, of course, you can hit me up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, let me see if the game back on. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. All right. We got the game on. Let's go. Um, did I support Barcelona's team? Yeah. Uh, mainly the women. And I just found Barca, too. I just found out who they were, like, last year. I didn't know who they were, which is crazy. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, guys, you got to be really careful what people you meet on the Internet. And I um, – because it, it's – a lot of things are on the internet. You got to be really careful. And, uh, but then again, you can still collab. You know what I'm saying, but you still got to be really careful with people on the internet. Cause you just don't know. Um, but luckily I'm an adult, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully it makes, uh, hopefully you're over 18. Hopefully everybody that's on here is over 18. Goodness gracious. Cause I'm not saying my channel is for over 18 year olds, um, based upon the things that I talk about. Um, but if you are under 18, uh, excuse me if I'm cussing, you know what I'm saying? It, I, I don't think I, but yeah, excuse me if I do say some things, but this channel is an 18 plus channel, you know what I'm saying? But you could be an old soul, be like young and just know things. Say the, you said a Whoopi Goldberg of football. All right. Hey, thank you. Thank you. What do I think about Messi retire from Barca? Oh, you said, uh, what do I think about Messi retire? Oh, well, it's about time. <laughs> it's about time. He stayed there for all his life. It's about time, Messi, you left. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, um, great player, right? I don't know him personally. Like, I don't know any of these athletes personally. But, um, you know, yeah, I'm – I mean, why not? I mean, eventually it's like leaving the nest. You got to leave your home. And that's why I don't consider him the best footballer. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you know what I mean? But, you know, he's he's good. But, I mean, you don't, this is the first time you're leaving your home, man? Come on now. Uh, but, you know, I think, I think PSG could win the – I think that's how they're setting it up. Oh, you said you're over 18. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because, um, yeah, because, you know, I'm not trying to get in trouble. You know, people, that's why people need to ask y'all's ages. Like, y'all come through, that's great and all, we can chat. But now you want to direct, directly comment, contact me? I need to make sure you're over 18. And this is live, so everybody heard your girl ask. You say, Messi is not the best. Yeah, I don't consider him the best. I don't consider I mean, this is my... Virtue and principle, 
when you have the ability to um, play really, really good football and you have an opportunity to leave, because a lot of people want to see to go different places and you don't. I mean, I'm just saying you're closing the door for yourself. And that's great. He's won a lot of things with Barca, but that's it. I've never won a Champions League. I've never won a, a Spanish League title. I've never ran a, ran a man a, a won a Copa del Rey. I never went ran won any of these things. But if I did, after I won all of them, I'd be going to another country. Okay, let's see what I can win in another place. But he he wanted to stay, and and I think we're in a new time where like you know you want a challenge. That's just my opinion. But I I, I ain't did all that. I ain't did what Messi did. Oh, I'm just here commentating. You know what I'm saying? Um, you said PSG is gonna <laughs> grow up his. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. He's gonna he's gonna get challenged. Um, and it's great. I mean, we we need to just remind ourselves. We need to challenge ourselves. Yeah, that's why I I think Ronaldo is a better player because he he's consistently been at different locations. And he has been successful at these different locations. It's hard to do. Just like Pep, you have to say, is one of the greatest coaches as well. Um, the managers that go to different countries and win lots of trophies, I mean, that you're great. And if you only stay in one location, uh, you didn't really test yourself. So it goes for players and managers as well. Um, we all have to test ourselves. We all have to test ourselves. And change is always constant. We always changing. The stars change. Mm -hmm. And some people don't like that because um, some people don't like that because they don't understand. They don't like what they don't understand. And that's the reality that most people live in. They don't like what they don't understand. Simple. But it's not simple. It's deep. But, um, <clears throat> you know, we, 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 you know, we, it'll get better. You get better once people start thinking for themselves. You have to think for yourself in this reality. You know, you have to think for yourself. You can't allow other people to think for you. You know, and if you are, I don't know. You, you, they're taking the power that you have in, in yourself and thinking for you. You know And so, you know, you know, but yeah. All right, the second half here. Second half here. Let's see Houston. Let's see Houston. But yeah, thanks y'all y'all for y'all's questions. I appreciate y'all. Y'all came through. Y'all came through. A lot of people left because I, I went. I went spiritual. People don't like spirituality. Spirituality is your individuality. Spirituality in sports. What you click on my channel for? You know what I mean? Uh. But um. Yeah, <clears throat> everything ties in. Everything ties in together in this matrix, you know what I'm saying? In this world that we live in, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see, let's see. Say, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess we can watch a little bit more, see what Houston does, see what Tigas does. Uh, I mean, honestly, Houston just got to keep it up. Oh, go. Let's go. I think, yo, I think Houston back. I mean, this is what Houston needed. This is what Houston needed. Ah, I said, ah. You said, do you think Barca is going to miss Messi's absence? Yeah. Ah. I think, ooh, nice finish. I'm really happy. What's going on with the defending, Tigas? What's going on? Did Are any defenders missing, or is this the typical defensive lineup for y'all? Um, Is this the typical lineup for y'all? Because um, if this is, Houston's really getting those shots. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is um Tigas Women's uh is if it, if anyone's missing. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, you say 
So this is another level fatigue us? Oh, okay. I mean, we watch, or well, if you watch the couple. Oh, okay, you say that one says, uh, they're good defense and good players, but not today. Not today. Not today. Um, this is not the match. It's okay. It's okay. Sometimes it's just what it is. Yeah, and this is the only, this is the second time. If this is the second time, um, we would like more of the Mexican um, league teams to play in WSL teams because you're, because Mexico's right there. I mean, it's, to me, that's, that's a very simple thing to do. Um, Cause we can, I can understand if they can't allow, if they can't have, um, if like teams in Europe can't, can't come over here. You know what I'm saying? Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it is a good experience though. We, we like, we want to, because if, if we don't get to see Mexican leagues or French leagues or Spanish leagues play each other, we'll never know. Well, one, they'll never be able to get better and and um, and just experience different types of football. That's why I like to watch all types of football, like in different leagues. But it's hard to be, like I said, sometimes I can't find that game sometimes, especially because I like to watch it live like this. But sometimes I can't. So if I do actually just watch re rewatch it, I, I could I could do that as well. But um it's really good to be able it's it's good to watch um a lot of football or just different football playing styles so it just expands our awareness. You know what I'm saying? On on the different playing styles and what playing style is working, what playing style because the future generation, the next generation right now of footballers, I mean, of course, you gotta learn how to play with the ball. But I feel like we are in an era where they're very, very creative, like magical, like magic. And they probably always were, but we just haven't we weren't able to see them on TV or on YouTube platforms. But now that we have them, now that we're able to see them, they're, to me, what I'm seeing is that they're very creative on the football, very, very um, creative, magical, especially when I watch, when I watch um, the Spanish League and then I go and watch the French League and, and I watch some of the Germans, um, the, the Spanish, they really, it's very interesting, very interesting gameplay, very flowy. I like those flowy games. Over there in uh, in Spanish, in Spain, it's very flowy. In French, it's very flowy and, and aggressive. In England, in America, ah, it's like physical. Like you know, they'll punch you in the face a couple times. We're gonna stop. All right, now we're gonna get back into it. Punch you in the face. We're gonna stop. You know, it's really up and down, up and down. The tempo is not just flowy because it's a two-hour match. You know what I'm saying? You don't really want to stop and start too much because you lose rhythm. Um, that's just my opinion, okay? I ain't never played football, though. I ain't never played 90 minutes, so I don't really know how it be. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's just how, how as a someone that watches it, I don't like the stop and start and stop and start. I like it when it just flows. Even if you are getting whooped, you know, I like the flow. Yeah, yeah, I love the PSG women's team. I just found I found them last year as well. I found a lot of teams that I liked the way they play. And I guess either I either like the players or I like the way they play or I just like the way they play together. Um, and I, it probably all goes through hand in hand. But um, I'm, I like good teams. Like, who doesn't like to watch a good team that makes the right passes, 
And sometimes they're like, oh, shit, I didn't actually see that pass. Did you? And they seen that pass before the, the ball got to them. Like, I didn't see that pass. And we see the magic, right? We see the the forward thinking, especially when we get the replays. We're like, damn, we didn't see that girl on that side. But then because I've watched, I would say, a fair bit of football. I've watched a lot. Like, I've watched a lot of football um, so far since 2019. Um, but more – it more devil in the details, more detail oriented on how I, I like more of attacking teams. Like I like the attacking teams. And if you have strikers that like to score, if you have midfielders that can, you know, connect the passes, it's really good. Um, you know, a lot of the best teams, they're, t- they're keeping the ball. Like we're seeing 80 percent, 80 possessions versus 20 possessions, like, or 60, 40, or it's, it, the good teams are just dominating and you see it. And, um, and, and this is why sometimes it's not attractive to watch certain leagues because they're killing the whole peak. They're, it's like they're killing everybody else in the league and it's only one opponent. And so that's the pros and cons and the yin and the yangs to every league. And we have to understand that that's just football until everyone kind of gets on the same level playing level, which will be, I don't know when, we get to only really see it when it comes to the World Cup or the Olympics, when it comes to uh, in Champions League football. That's really only when we get to see it. And sometimes when they do little tournaments, just depending what teams they call or what teams decide to play each other, when when we get this kind of the same level of competition, it's, it's mental. The same kind of mental the, – the mentality is there. That's when we get really good football. Like Lyon and Barcelona, that game that they played in in Portland was phenomenal. I was I was I was blown away. I was like, what? I was. It was an amazing game. That was my type of game. My type of game that I would like that I, I enjoyed. Um, um, you said, oh, did you see Barcelona swimming? <laughs> oh God. Is that another goal? Hey, yeah, Barca are savages. Those ladies are savages. All right, y'all. This is five nil. Come on now. Come on now. What the? What the? All right, this is not. I I predicted three. I predicted five goals, but I predicted three two, not five nil. Houston. I didn't predict this. I didn't predict that. Wow, Stevens got her second goal. Well, she's coming off, and then Shea Groom. Wow. 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 Yeah, I mean Barca. When I think of Barca, they're just they're crazy good. They're crazy good. Um the Champions League, uh, it kind of hurt me because of the first goal. I when you want I when you watch the Champions League, I watched uh the replay of Leon versus Barca when they when they went to the final again and Leon Leon had a crazy good team that year. 2018 team was freaking scary crazy. I mean, I didn't really get to see them in their prime because, like I said, I didn't start watching football till women's football like I do now in 2019, until 2019. Um, But, um, yeah, they just – it was their time. Yeah, it was their time. And Leon, you know. I don't know, Leon. I was when I was watching. Uh, what was I watching? Oh yeah, I think I was watching a PSG, a PSG game for the women, and they said um, Leon had won, have have seven Champions League, seven. And this was, uh, core Spain's first or the Spanish team's first Champions League. An English team has one. A German team has one. But that was really good. It's always really nice to be first, right? And and honestly, we had to expect it to be either Barca or Real Madrid. But since Real Madrid was not even about, well, since we just got a Real Madrid team, Barca had to be the first team to be amazing in Spain because 
of the men, right? Because of the men's team. Because when you play for a country, when you play for a, a, a club, Barcelona, we know the men are great. So why wouldn't they have a female team to be just as great? Their reflection, right? And just like, um, but for Real Madrid, Real Madrid, I feel they're eventually going to be the, the they're going to be great. I mean, that's how I feel eventually. I mean, not just saying that because they beat Man City, but um, <clears throat> um, oh, shit, shit. <laughs> No, it's just one match. It's just one match. But they, they're going to have to watch film. That's what they're going to have to watch film. They're going to have to watch film on the mistakes. And they're going to have to learn to improve on, on the mistakes. <clears throat> but the supporters shouldn't just leave after one game. Everyone has a bad day, right? Um... Uh, I was going to say, right, Leon, um, but yeah, it's just like the big clubs, the big clubs that we know in the men's side, and I'm not sure, I guess the Tigres men are a big club as well. The club, the big clubs that we know about, Man United, Man City, Juventus, and all the leagues and all the countries, the big name clubs, if they have successful men championships, and when they get a women's team, they should be just as successful because of the success that their men's team brought, because that's only normal to me. Even though we know Leon, Leon men haven't won, I don't know if they ever won a Champions League, Leon men. That's very interesting if why they haven't. Maybe they have. I'm not too sure. You know what I mean? So it, it's crazy. But that's just how I see it. I mean – you should have kind of like the same mentality. Like if you play for the same club, y'all should have similar principles and virtues. You should have a similar playing style because you play for the same club. Um, and it's really nice when your boys win Champions League and your women's won Champions League. It's like, well, y'all, y'all dominated. Y'all, y'all. And that's the type. And people will look at your team be like, this is what you do. This is how an organization is, should, should be good, go down. But well, we know it's football. Anybody can win. Anybody can win. It's football. But when we see it happen, we're like, oh, shit. Like, y'all won the league. Your women won the league. But sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Sometimes the men win the league and the women lose their league. And sometimes the Champions League is won in the women. And sometimes they don't win the Champions League in the men. It, it happens. It's football. But it's historical when it does. <clears throat> but, um, you know, that's what the growth of football we have. I mean, and that's just the growth of um, but when it comes to the women's game, um, it's not, I didn't, I didn't, you just, why wouldn't we had not expected it to be a Bar Barcelona women's team that was so good if the Barcelona men's team were so great as well. So it was just bound to happen. It was, it was written. Um, you said, you said, uh. You said, <laughs> you said, you know, but women's teams are better than men's team on the most, on, on most teams. I just think it's two different, it's a men's league and there's a female league. It's just, of the. I mean, we see certain different dynamics. We see certain different dynamics. Like I remember watching Man City dominate the, the men's side, dominated their whole league, and nobody was catching them. They scored like a hundred plus points. That that what happened? What what happened? Like that's not supposed to happen in a professional league. One team is not supposed to just destroy everyone, right? In England, no, nah, that's not supposed to happen. Um, so what happened? You know what I'm saying? How did how well, did everyone just suck that season? Did everyone? I I know I understand Man City were very great, but how the fuck did that happen? I'm just saying. But I think it's men's league and women's league. But when you play for a, a club, um, you know, 
it, I don't want I don't want to say that because I mean I feel the the men are equally good and the women are equally good, but the the stereotype that women's football is is, is the, the stereotype is mainly at women's football that it's not interesting and uh, there's heavy heavy stereotype when it comes to women's football and just women and women in general, but women in sports for sure. But um, we have to transcend that. We have to transcend that. That's that's all. If you hate women that play football, I don't understand why you even watch. Like people that troll, I mean, they have no lives really. But they. <laughs> What else can we say? Like, you have no life. Um, you should always want to see someone do better. You should always want to see improvement. You sh we should always hope for the best. Because you might have a child that wants to play football, and you over here talking shit about football. Or you may not have a child that plays football. But you may run into someone. You may coach someone. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I'm saying it's very difficult. We have to make sure we maintain equilibrium. Um, but we know there's a lot of shit talkers when it comes to women's football. Uh, it's unfortunate, but that's life, right? That's life. That's life. There's a lot of people that shit talk. That's life. You need them. Let them play that role. Shit talkers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Um, and that's why, you know, most of those people don't have friends. <laughs> yeah, they don't have friends because they talk shit. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, the leave them where they be. Leave them where they be. He said, okay, but it's more exciting women's soccer games. It's it's pure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the mentality is different. The mentality is different. It's a different mentality. It's the same game, but it's a different mentality. Um, I think now the, the – I haven't watched the boys in such a long time. I feel I feel I haven't watched the I feel like I haven't watched them in a, in a while. Um, hola, Marcus. Hola. But the men, they're more expressive. You know, when they when there's a foul, they're expressive. They're expressing it. It's just what what's going on? Like whoa, whoa, whoa. All the, they're so expressive, and I enjoy that fact. There there there's more emotion. And, and especially there's emotion in women's game, but you don't really see it as much, especially on the celebrations. These boys be going all out. I be like, they be doing all types of stuff on their and uh, their uh, celebrations. And and we see the women when they celebrate, it's eh, cool, calm, uh, good job, high fives. It's not really too ah. But we and then we see the players that are super excited when they score. I'm like, oh hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? But. It's the mentality of a professional women's football player than the mentality of a men's woman of a men's football player. You know, it's it's a different mentality. It's a different mentality. Um, it's how the culture is when it comes to collective about women's football and the collect in the collective when it comes to men's football. It's different. It's different. Um, you know, it's different, and we see it. And it's okay, but we see it. I see it's different. But um, it is more exciting when the women, because I feel like they're more um, they're more determined. And, I mean, I'm not saying the boys aren't, but, I mean, it's a little different. It's a little different. A little different. A little different. You know what I'm saying? Even though they play the same game, it's just different. Um, a lot of things go into hand. Uh, what's going on over here? <laughs> San Diego Padres, what's up? Uh, he said, there should be a Women's North American Champions League. That'd be dope. I'm all for more creations of football tournaments. I'd watch it. As long as it's, as long as we're able to watch it, I mean, I'm down for more football. It's more enjoyable. Yeah, it's more enjoyable. And here's the thing: this is it's because it's new. Women's football is is fairly new to people. If you're just now getting into it, it's new. It's new. Like for me, I was watching the men for since 2010. You really couldn't see a women's game in 2010. I couldn't see a Team USA game on TV in 2010 because it just did. It wasn't there. Um, I guess. I guess we. It just wasn't there. And so now that is here, it's new. People, we love new things. So that's why 
our attention is like, okay, we've seen the men already. You know, it's like we see what they do. We, you know, we see, and, and, and they're still going to get love because they're love. You know what I'm saying? And all leagues will be love. You know what I'm saying? Um, but now we're a lot more of us are paying attention to the women because they're new. They're like, oh, who are you? Like, we ain't never seen you before. You're a new star. Like, you're a new star. Like, we ain't never seen you. Like, and so, and now that, you know, with in, in the internet and technology and all the platforms that we have, and we're starting to even get know more about the players and what they uh, allow, what they share with us. And we see their journeys with the, with the, with us evolving as humanity. Uh, women's football is evolving as well. Everything is evolving. We're getting stronger and better. We're getting, we're coming together. You know what I'm saying? And, um, <clears throat> in football in general, it, it's going, it's football already is the most popular sport in the world. And we know that. So in America, <clears throat> depending on how they keep it, it's, it's going to take over. People be like, nah, it's American football. It's, uh, nah, eventually it's going to be football. It's going to be soccer. And people aren't going to look because one, football is a lot more safer game than football, American football. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot more safer game. But then you think about the, what people populate here in America, if you think about it, gets deep, you know, football's deep, it gets really deep, you know what I'm saying? There's certain things, and, um, it's it's deep, but um, but um, he said, I guess it's now, it's before it's new. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It is. It be um because you know we have access to it. You know, gracias, Russ. You're welcome, Anna. Yeah, and um, it's a powerful. It's a powerful tool. Fo football has really helped me in my life. Um, just share more of myself with people that I come in contact with. It's helped me in my life. And it's helped ladies that get to play in their lives. And it's probably helped other people that enjoy the game. And it's 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 a tool. It's something that it's something here for us to be able to enjoy together. And it, look at the stadiums. They're full of people that look different for one game. That's only 90 minutes. We see some, we may see some incredible goals. We may not see no goals, but we still went out there. It doesn't mean the party stops after the game's over. We got pre-game, after game, you know what I'm saying? And for me, I mean, I feel like I watch football every other day because that's just how I am. I got pre-game before other matches in France, and I got pre-games and other matches in England. I got pre-game other matches in Germany, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Football is just in my life. It's just in me. Feel me? It's just in me. Football has a, a spot in within my being. You know what I'm saying? Within my being. It's, it, it's just different. It's just different. So I got a special love for football because it's helped me. So not a lot of people are uh, into football. They think it's boring. It's all right, especially in America. Y'all know how people are in America. I'm not from America, even though I'm in San Antonio. I'm from the universe. But um, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is, you know. Virtual hugs, nice. But yeah, it's gonna grow. It's gonna continue to grow. Uh, it's gonna continue to get better. Um. We're gonna gonna we're gonna continue to uh, watch it, right, right. And then also because I want to be able to talk to people, I had to learn Spanish. So it challenges you to learn different languages too, if you want to. It 
challenge it don't have it don't have you don't have to do it but all right y'all 15 minutes left it's not what we uh expected for tonight it's not what we expected um Hmm. Well, I thank everyone for coming through, coming through and saying hello. We got, man, I like four, th it was like 8,000 people. Now it's only 4,000 on, on the website. Everyone, everyone dipped. <laughs> he said, what's okay, what's happening in New York? Oh, heavy, heavy um, in New York. New York, New York City, New York City, um, New York City, um, a lot of things uh, because they're making a lot of uh, because COVID, right? COVID. Uh, why she cry? This is her last match. This is her last match. She's retiring, Christine there. She's going to um, hang up her boots. She's hanging up her boots. She said this is her last football match, unfortunately. Until, until it is what it is. She's hanging up her boots. Uh, but, oh, and, uh, oh, you said, oh, the New York team. Oh, the New York team. Oh, okay. You're talking football still. Uh, um, I, I haven't watched, I haven't watched American football in a while. Actually, I don't even know what's happening over there. <laughs> like, I don't watch them. Um, I haven't watched pretty much any other sport besides um if I have I've watched basketball. I watched I watched a little bit of the Olympics. But I haven't watched any other sport besides football, really. It's very it's I mean, I've been getting into I mean, I know um I mean, because I be getting into the detail of a lot of things, that's just what I'm interested in right now. Because I'm a Gemini and there's multiple teams, there's multiple people to know. That's just my type of style. That's just my type of thing. Like a, a lots of a lots of a lot of information everywhere. You know what I'm saying? There's only one American football team, uh, New York, but um, there's lots of soccer teams. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that's just not my sport anymore. I used to watch NFL back then when Giants were actually. Oh, hey, look, go. Who is this? Who is this? Number 10? I think someone called it in the chat. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, I haven't watched. Yeah, I haven't watched American football in a while. It's a dangerous game. <laughs> nice. Oh, Kathy, Kathy Killer. Is that really her name? Kathy Killer. Jeez. Wow. And she's, and she's, <laughs> as someone said, about time. <laughs> we had to wait to the 80th minute. We had to wait to the 80th minute. It was well, was it worth the wait? Oh, okay. No, her name. I was like, okay, her name. No. Oh, okay. Kathy Martinez. Okay. Awesome. I was like, her, 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 Matthew, her last name killer. Jesus. Okay. Kathy Martinez. All right. Kathy Martinez. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Thelma. Oh, AKA. <laughs> oh. Y'all, did she did she choose that nickname? <laughs> I 
I wonder how she got her nickname. Does that mean something else? And I don't know. Anyways, anyways, uh, how old is she? Let me see. Let me Google her. Kathy Martinez. All right, T guys. Oh, okay, she's 23. Uh, 1998, March 4th, 14th, she's a Pisces, all right, cool, cool, ah, I see, <laughs> All right. Nice. Is she? I wonder why she didn't get called up to the Mexican national team. Um. All right. All right, we got eight minutes left, seven minutes left, five one, fifty one. <laughs> See you guys forever. Oh, big save. See you guys are putting it on Houston the last 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 10 minutes. Come on, Houston, me. Ooh. Heavy touch. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, what do I think about Tigas? Uh, this I don't think this game uh showed the best side of Tigas. Um, I don't think this is their best showing, unfortunately. It doesn't hurt it doesn't help that um <clears throat> they had some players missing from for because of international break, but um at least they didn't get beat without scoring. But I still like them. They're still my team. I just have to watch more of them, so I'll get. Um, I have to watch more of them, so I can get uh, used to their names and be able to recognize them just via the, you know, because y'all know y'all players, you know, via just looking at them on the pitch. I don't know to you guys like that. Yeah, I know, right? No, it's crazy. It's a, a thrashing. Seen a lot. Uh, three other teams in Europe won 10 nil. It was crazy. 10 0. Not like Barca 17 0, though. Barca 17 0. That was crazy. Um, <laughs> when I seen, I seen that on Twitter, yo, I was like, what? Turn the TV off. Get off Twitter. Yeah, nine nil. USA is uh, is tough. We don't want to see those score lines, but um, you're welcome, and well, it, you don't want to see those games. You don't want to see. You don't want to see those games. You just don't want to. But it happens. Just keep them to a minimum. You know, keep it to a minimum. Um, but yeah, yeah, just kind of keep it to a minimum. It's going to happen. <laughs> you said Messi can't make a goal for PSG yet. Ah, uh, he will. He will. Always a goal scorer. If you're a goal scorer, you'll always be a goal scorer. You don't lose that touch. You don't use, it may take a couple games, but you don't lose your, your touch. And always... Just, you know, you just got to get a little more comfortable. But when you do, you're going to keep it. You know what I'm saying? It, it never was gone. It was just, you know, sometimes it's not for him to shine right now. It's for others to shine. You know, you got to share the stage, Messi. 
got to share the stage. He, <clears throat> you got to share the stage. Yeah. Oh, do you guys? Hmm. Oh no. Oh man. What's going on? He said Barca play for Messi and put play for the team. No. Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, there's a it's a eleven players on the pitch, and we know we know the ones that are really really uh good. They get fouled a lot, <laughs> but uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank y'all. Thank y'all everyone for coming to your girls. Uh, live stream. I appreciate every single one of you that uh, came by and said hello. I appreciate y'all for helping me with the live stream and enjoying what I had to say. I appreciate you. Vamos. We got one more goal. Oh, she's off sides. She's upset. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Rex. Thank y'all. Thank y'all all as well. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. You made this really, y'all made this a really, really good live stream. I appreciate everyone. And uh, this is, I mean, this is, I'm super happy that this worked so well. Because I wasn't, I was a little, I was a little like, man, I wasn't too sure if I was going to show y'all the game because I didn't want to, you know, get any copyright. But I'm happy everything worked out. Uh, I, um, not on YouTube. I can't, I can't stream on YouTube if I can only just, uh, I can only upload it after the game's played because of YouTube. They don't let you do it. Unfortunately, it's, uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are very nice. Very look, y'all have y'all are amazing. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are some amazing supporters. Let me just say that. I would, I mean, if I was a, a football team owner, I would want supporters like y'all. Hands down, hands down. Some of the best people. Um, oh, there we go. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are some of the best supporters I've come into contact with. And so many of y'all, so many. You're welcome, you're welcome. So many of y'all, thank you. Thank you everyone, thank you. Uh, thank yourself too for coming through. I appreciate everyone. 5-1 Houston, 5-1 Houston. Thank you, Blue. Tigas, well, we don't have to do this again. There needs to be a trilogy, okay? There's gonna have to be a trilogy. I'd probably prefer it in Mexico, I'm just saying. You said, I, I, yeah, those copyright things, they're crazy. Um, yeah, I would prefer, uh, I prefer the match to be in Mexico. That's just my opinion. All right, all right, all right. Let me see. 
<laughs> well, no, swamp shirts. I know. Hey, they're very popular. I should get me one. I need to get me one. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you all. Thank you all. I hope y'all have a good evening. He said Ronaldo went back to United. I know. He said he went home. Should be some good Manchester derbies. I'll probably tune into a Manchester derby. Okay. I really don't even know your actual name because I'm not, I don't, I'm not familiar with that, with this. I'm not familiar with that. Um, I guess that those that language or those numberings and the, or those words. So I really don't know where you're from. I don't know your name really, but <laughs> I'll see if that's you. I'll just you just gotta let me know. Hey, it's it's me from the live stream. You gotta let me know who you are, so I'll know. Um, yeah, thank y'all, everyone. I don't know. I can barely see it. I gotta barely, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But yeah, thank y'all. Thank you, Bianca. Thank you. Script? Huh? Like, <laughs> but yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in to Anita's Joint, hashtag extended joint, where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl, Anita, flying high, and I'm flying out of this third dimensional reality, and I'll see you on the next one, all right? Deuces. <laughs>